Jerry Mina here with my good buddy, Michael Streeter, and we're here with our guest. Who is he? Mark Brock from the Wild Weeds. <gasps> And he is our connection because there was a one night, what was that, January oh, man, at the Greens yeah. last year? Yeah. Cool Peak Lake. They had like a little, like a lumberjack cabin, was it a cabin is that party? What that was? Yeah, Something like maybe. that. And this, what's, well, that's all I got left. <laughs> that's a really good memory. That's all, we, th and we all started talking about a podcast, and you helped, yes. we were talking with the name. We, are, we had Boozik. That was the original one. Yeah, Buzik. but it was already taken. When I first met Mark that night, that was the first time I met him. I met him since before, I mean after, <laughs> since before. I've met him since before. Uh, when I, you know, when, when I looked at him, I was like, dude, you look just like Woody Allen, a young yeah, Woody I, Allen. Yeah, I get that once in a while, yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Jewish and I, uh, you know, have that kind of uh, mannerisms <laughs> as uh, Woody Allen would have, you know? <laughs> So, I mean, it's you a... You just did Woody Allen! Yeah, like, the mannerisms! Uh, I already, like, I'm grandfathered in, you know? It's nothing no, but you can do about that's it. That's what you know. I was just... Like, you know, it was like... Yeah. The garage rock, whatever you call it. Surf rock. Uh, Surf rock. Now, um, how'd you guys? Garage. How'd you guys get into like? How'd you start? How'd you meet? Wow. Yeah, that's that's an interesting question because it, it all evolved over time. Um, I I moved up here about six years ago full time, but I was coming up living in the city and playing with a bunch of musicians up here and Chops mm -hmm. and um, Sauerkraut and Jay Gerald the the Velvet Frog. Right. We're playing Sunday brunch at the Taconic Wayside Inn, and uh, I was like, "Hey, you guys, would, would you like to have a drummer play?" Like, yeah, just bring your snare drum and your your cymbal, <laughs> and you know. And uh, they started evolving, and then they just um, got hired all the time because they were just a great uh, sound for a brunch. You know, it was just like very mellow and not too loud. It was just a really good. Wait, 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 wait! Gotta ask you. It's a great sound for a brunch. Does a brunch have a sound? Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, you want something mellow. You know, you want oh, okay. something chill and not yeah. too loud. Oh, and like a jazz, so like a yeah. jazzy kind yeah, of. Yeah. yeah. It was just, it was very, you like, guys should put out like a, a an so album, fun. brunch sounds or something like that. You've heard of Pet Sounds? Yeah, that was number, number two. two. No. Thank you. <laughs> and then I I connected with those guys, and then I started networking with those. Musician, but well, we're really happy to have you, Mark. We've been talking about having you for a long time. Actually. Thank you, and I really, really appreciate being here. And it's like, really, I, I got, I, I was like, actually, you were you guys really are doing a great job on, you know, do you actually watch this? And you watch I'm it? so proud of you guys for like, we actually talked about the beginning of of this whole process. Yeah, you were part of it. Well, the, the, I, I was involved in the whole thought process. Now, the key down to everybody, don't judge us by our first two episodes, yeah, I always say. Yeah, or even the first five episodes. Yeah. We're now 22 right now. Yeah, 23. We, we've gotten to the groove. Now we're down to like 15. We're getting better. Yeah, it's yeah, getting, getting better and yeah. better. Definitely. Fine tune. You, you, you tweak things. You, you, you clean things up. You now, know, and it's just a matter of... You guys time. have the CD and out. Thank you for asking. Yes, yeah, so we Your songs are so catchy. That's what I like. We're... The Sunset Rock. When the sun goes down, you can hear the sound of the changing lights. I love you when the sun goes down. Yeah! Sunset Rock, Sunset Rock, Sunset Rock, Sunset Rock, Sunset Rock, Sunset Rock. I love you when the sun goes down. And mosquito. visiting from Florida and I'm like I wanted to just like play some music for my mom just to show where I was at in my uh, in my level of drumming and I invited some musicians over and I happened to invite Bobby Slink and myself and we played and my mom was blown away and I was blown away <laughs> All right. what are we drinking 
I. What are you drinking? I'm drinking some kind of, uh, I think, tequila. You're a tequila drinker. Yeah. I no, he's a wild drink. turkey. He's a, a wild turkey. Wild man. turkey, and I'm also a uh, uh, Hill Rock Distillery. You know, All that's right. right. You work I for Hill Rock, right? For Hill Rock what do you do there? I did production. I made the whiskey, and I bottled, and I. And I pa- and I did the barrel work, you know, moving barrels around. We gotta get a tour there. Filling so barrels, dumping barrels. If, if, if we break, we know you. You can get a tasting. Okay, we, don't, but we don't because we know you. We can't get any. It's 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 like I'm not really involved in you know the uh, we're not operation going to, right now. We're I'm, not going I'm kind for of that back point. Away. Yeah. They are the, the, the great, Hill Rock is good. Great, I've tasted it. Amazing so process that they have. I mean, it's like so hands on and it's very intense. But and the distiller is from. You all right? Operation. Oh, fine. I'm just going. Yeah, you, I thought you were having a, like a Caesar or something there. Not yet, no. Um, he's like a master distiller, right? From Kentucky? Well, or? Dave Pickerell was the master distiller, and he actually passed away a little bit over a year ago, unfortunately. And it was very upsetting to the whole system. And um, they um, hired someone from, um, from uh, Wild Turkey to take over oh, the really? uh, production part, or help with Tim. Right. Tim Welly is actually... One of the main guys there, and he's from uh, Wild Turkey, which is like he's focusing on production, while Tim is focusing more on like the uh, barreling and the dumping and, the, and because the way bourbon is made is a uh, burned out oak barrel used once. So how do they get away with putting? Is it still called bourbon when they put it in the port? Well, a lot of people, well, a lot of people would think that you know Tennessee and Kentucky bourbon is bourbon, but really bourbon is. American whiskey, uh, a whiskey. Yep. Yeah. So it could be made in any part of the country, uh, as long as in fifty-one uh, percent corn, right? And it could be forty-nine percent either rye or barley or hot. It's got to be a minimum but of fifty-one, but you could make it more, or you could make it. You, you could add something. You can make more it. corn, but a, a minimum fifty-one percent corn, right? And it has to be aged in brand new white oak charred barrels, barrels. Char- charred barrels, right? And it has to be aged over at least a day to become a bourbon. Just to get only deep. a day. Yeah, that's what the um, the, the law the law or is the, because in order to call it bourbon. Yeah, I think it's a day. It's it's, it's a certain amount of days. But um, I know that the minimum that I've heard was a day. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, um, what music you represent? I'm going to talk about my music today. If you don't yes, let's he, do that. And you, wound, might, you might know my music. He, he's all wound up for us. So I'm all wound up for my music. He started yesterday. Wound and up. I really, well, I, you know, when we were here yesterday, I was thinking about what I was going to talk about because you are true to yourself and you want to talk about your, you know, what music you're into, which is pretty heavy yeah, music. I, told, well, I have other stuff too, but... No, I know that. I know yeah, that. But, you're but right you, have, you have music that, that isn't mainstream. Right. The way I see it, it yeah. might be mainstream, but it's not to me. Okay. That's nothing. I'm not trying uh, to. No, no, no. I understand. No, no. I, I want. So, are you actually like really doing like music? Are you? A no, musician? I'm talking about music that I like. Oh, you okay? Yeah. So, like okay. different. So, booze instrumental is about booze. Trimental is instrumental. And you talk about music. We yes. talk about and you know what I'm thinking about? Do yes. Well, can I talk about my music? Yeah, yes. we can talk about Kiss too. Yeah, we're oh, we that. talk about yeah, Kiss yeah, yeah. every fucking episode, so we're not talking All about right, Kiss. Right, yeah. But okay. this week, uh, my, my music, which I really like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is is you guys remember? You're too. You guys are too. Well, Never. you're too young. Uh, How old are you? Lotto. Yes. No. no. Lotto. Oh. Did you ever hear the song? Metalhead. I wanna be a lifeguard. Help, help, help! I was. I became a big fan of them through another friend that said, "You gotta listen to these guys. Let's do them." <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> and uh, Blotta was big, and they had like two or three albums that they promoted themselves. Mm-hmm. MTV comes along. Yes. MTV comes along. Everything. <laughs> no, the first well, day. In the beginning, the first day. The first day. <laughs> my girlfriend. The first day of MTV, they put on Blotto, and they, Blotto was a mainstay on MTV, and that really propelled them not into anything that beyond all well, like, day, but well, so Blotto was uh, I get to uh, uh, lifeguard was their mainstay. That was their big one. Yeah, but they didn't went on to so metal, metal metalhead. Metal, metalhead. They put a whole, but they had oh, put wow. a, whole, yeah. a whole album out. Uh, metalhead was one hit off it. 
and it was a great album. Columbia okay. Green, Community okay. College. Go. We have a band night there, and we were able to get Blotto in Columbia Green. And uh, this is a good conversation, by the way. This was a long time ago. It was nineteen eighty. But this is this could is, is be like conversation. All right. I think that's gonna. I, I wanna, I, I, first of all, Mark, I want to thank you for coming yes, out. Thank you. Oh, because awesome. when I saw I, you walk, I'm like, oh my god, I, he's here. I knew this because this is awesome. Yeah, this we, is, can, yeah. we can go it's on. It's so with easy, like, like to talk to you guys. I mean, like. Well, after it's about three drinks, four or there five be, drinks. You should have more interesting guests. Like, That's okay. what we want. We're working. Who said you were interesting, by the way? What's that? You said you should have more interesting guests, as if you're interesting. Are you interesting? Yeah, I, I, I consider myself kind of interesting. Yeah, right? I think so. I, really? I, I, I feel no, like no, I'm no, interesting. I'm breaking your balls. I'm breaking your balls. You're very interesting. No, but I, 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 I liked you not even from the minute circus. I met you. What? How mean, dare you? What he is. <laughs> you're in the wrong. The Hills House is awesome. I mean, there's new new you know representation here. It's beautiful. They're keeping it real. I love the uh, granola feel of it. We're talking it's, about uh, squirrel, squirrel story. Right, so we're going back to the squirrel story. We're talking mm-hmm. about squirrel story. Well, I love the fact that Hillsdale House is actually kind of bringing the energy of the, the, the original Hillsdale House back. That's all. Okay. End the story. Right. Let's move on to the so squirrel. So I'm driving to the kind of place I am. It's one of my other favorite places. Oh, you have the name. And there was a squirrel on the, on, on the road. I, I slammed on my brakes. I see the squirrel on its back. His legs, his arms are up in the air. He's on his back. And he doesn't look like he's damaged. He's just very healthy looking. He looks like a and healthy squirrel. There's no blood or anything. He's no like blood, lo- nothing. He didn't get like hit hard. You know, just like mine, he got knocked over. And uh, the other squirrel was like looking over. His partner was like, just like. How do you know it was his over, partner? smelling his friend or his lover, whatever it was. And he's like, I'm worried about this guy. Can you help me? Basically, is that I what he said to you? Compressions. You're, you're, you're and that's when I got. I pulled over, and I got over, and I started doing compressions on the squirrel. On the squirrel. <laughs> and I totally gave like it was like 21, but then I was like 21 compressions to two breasts or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the. Yeah, yeah. Squirrel it it changed every it's year. It's probably different in squirrel life, but I was like, I mean, I was doing like a 250. <laughs> they got a little hard to do. But anyway, I was doing this. I did 12. 12. I don't know, I did 21. 21. Okay. And then I did, uh, and then I saw him like laying there and he's like, his teeth are like, oh, I'm fucked and I'm up. Like, should I give the. Oh, should I give up. the. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, should I stop breathing? And I'm oh. like, you know what? I've heard that compressions only is fine. You don't have to do the breath because you can get a lawsuit with like. Like, like, does the squirrel know a good lawyer? Yeah, yeah, the squirrel might know a good lawyer. So I started doing just compression. Well, you, you got the good Samaritan. So I felt behind like you. the squirrel had his. It, it got. It kind of like. It, it was looking good. It was looking like it had more blood and flow. Did his cheeks flow up? Yeah, yeah. Blood. It, it kind of like looked like it had more color to it. Yeah. And then I just drove away, and then like an hour later, I drove back, and, and I dragged the squirrel over to the side of the road, by the way. You didn't pick the drag, because the squirrel no, was I like, maybe it. like, I had to drag six it. ounces, I, 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 you I had to drag him? I just grabbed his arms. You go like, take me. He was, he was already, he was in good condition, and the, the other squirrel, his partner, or his, oh my his, God. uh, <laughs> was nuts, waiting, watching the whole scenario. Save him. him! Save him! Save him! Give Save him compressions! <laughs> You are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. What's yep. the word? Oh my god. Fantastic. Fantabulous. 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 You're fabulous. <laughs> That's the word I was thinking. I love the word fabulous. Yeah, it's a great word. Alright, is that for me? Alright. Yeah, anyway. What the hell is that? So That's just water. She, okay. I took him over so and then so back an hour later where I left the squirrel. And he was squished by a bunch of people. No, he was gone. It was, it was, it was, it was, the squirrel. Oh, so you know he lived. I think so, unless uh, a raccoon some... picked it up. Or something. <laughs> God damn raccoon! Unless <laughs> a so we're not sure a if it's the a raccoon. Animal. A raccoon butt. So you were like did a bunch of compressions, and the, the squirrel looked up to you and he went, yeah, yeah, pretty. And much. then you left. You was good. Yeah. Well, I dragged him over the. Well, like, I know he was on the. He was out of this yeah. traffic. I think that's going to do it for us today. Yeah. That's so uh, here's I'm looking done. up your old address. Yeah. Oh. God bless thank you, Mark Brock, for being Mark here. Brock, we'll have another here. episode Hopefully because the oh, shit out of oh, this. Oh no, we're, we're just going all raw. Edit the Delete shit the out of this city. sucker. It's the next week. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> thank you for having oh, me, Marky. Man, that great was to have great you. Great story, dude. We great will have you again. Oh my God, later. That's bro. going down in history. That thank one. you.